what's up guys, CP Modi here back with another video and today we take a look at desktop hard drives, more specifically old and used particular options and seeing what exactly we can do with them before really throwing them in the bin. Now a lot of the time when we upgrade to new computers, our old drives either sit in the old case in the corner forever and ever, or we throw them in the bin, or we put them on the shelf until someone else comes along a lot later and throws them in the bin. Usually there's not exactly a whole lot of use for most people when it comes to an old desktop drive. But when it comes to it, there's actually a lot of things you can do with your old desktop PC hard drives. So today, we're going to be covering exactly that. Ways that you can reuse your hard drives or just better ways of disposing of your particular desktop hard drive. Now, if you want to get a little bit more technical, I think I did a video a while back on actually disposing desktop hard drives. If not, definitely expect that coming really, really soon. But first off, let's cover the disposal process. A lot of people just throw their drives in the bin and that is really the wrong way to dispose of your desktop hard drives. The best way to actually do so is to physically break them up into pieces. First off though, you want to do a boot and nuke, basically corrupting the drives, making it unable to actually read or write or really access any of your data. So if someone manages to get their hands on the drive, it's just going to be a big pile of corrupted data. There's nothing on there, nothing they can actually do, making sure that your data is safe. Now, personally, I've been using Darek's Boot and Nuke for quite some time, and whilst it's not the world's highest-end software and isn't going to be protecting your business sort of great data, at the end of the day, for most home users, this is going to be perfectly fine for that. And if you want to find out more, check that link down in the description box. Anyway, install the software, load it up, boot and nuke the system, and now you are ready to go ahead and move on with the process. If you are planning to recycle the drive, take the platters out like so by undoing all these little bolts and basically smash them up. However, with that being said, if you are going to be using a hammer and actually hammering these platters, uh, do be careful though because they are known to basically explode so one hit on one side will just send shards flying everywhere. It can be very dangerous so do make sure you have correct eyewear and protection stuff so you don't actually get injured by these exploding drives. Overall, once you do hammer them up, take it down to a recycling center and get the parts recycled as there's actually some really good metals and materials inside desktop hard drives that really would be going to waste if you just throw it in the bin. So make sure you do recycle it and get all the parts out of it and you'll be getting the most out of your old drive. But let's face it, we're all DIY people and we want to throw something together before throwing these guys in the bin, whether it be the trash bin or the recycle bin. So here are some projects or things that I usually do with old uh, hard drives before throwing them in the bin. First and foremost is just painting them and doing some cool DIY stuff. Now again, I think I did a video a while back on painting desktop hard drives, if not that is definitely coming, but I believe I did do it, so it should be have linked up there. But painting your desktop hard drive is a really cool way just to customize them and bring some cool little features there. If you're planning on painting your existing internal drives, using these guys as practices to see what the finish might look like is a really good idea. Personally, I love the way that these drives have turned out. Sure, they're not really working or any particular good use, but overall, I really love the way that these particular drives have turned out once they were painted. And they're also to make cool little pieces. If you have a painted hard drive, put it up on a shelf or if you have a set like this, put it up on the set, uh, definitely would be a cool way to go ahead and do that. But if you're not really into painting, let's pull this guy apart and use some of the internals. First off, we have the magnets inside this guy. Hard drives are filled with really strong neodymium magnets, which are really easy to take out and use as really strong magnets. Simply pry them off these little metal shrouds and boom, now we have these super strong magnets. Whether you want to make knife holders or you just want to attach some stuff, I really see the power of these guys. Personally, for me though, I really like to take them out, chop them up with an angle grinder, drill a small hole and put them on my keyring. Personally, what this allows me to do is now that I have a super strong magnet on my keyring, I can put another magnet around my room here somewhere and boom, now I have a super strong and secure way to attach my keys without the need of a hook or something like that inside of the wall. So taking out the magnet and using them on a whole bunch of DIY projects is really, really awesome. Or if you just want a really strong fridge magnet, these guys are really into it. If you've never touched a, a computer hard drive magnet, these things are absolutely mind-blowingly strong. I've never actually felt magnets this strong other than like a magnet that I got once for like $150, which is really expensive and also too really large. These guys are small, they're strong and absolutely awesome. So taking them out is a really cool way to go ahead and use them. Now to do so, all we need to do is take off the top cover like so, undo these two bolts here, undo this extra one right here and any other ones depending on the uh, design of your hard drive. And then we're just gonna take a standard flathead screwdriver and separate the magnet from the actual metal plate. 
plate and then we're basically done. Really, really simple process right there. Another thing you can do with your drive once you've stripped it out is use it as a coaster. Now a lot of hard drives have little screw holes all over the top platform and taking the screws out allows for any water or anything like that to go inside these particular drives. So using this guy as a coaster is a really good option. Personally for me, I use this particular drive as a coaster. It's got a couple holes drilled in the top of it and whenever my drink is cold and some condensation starts to build up, rather than just forming on the top of the drive, it actually falls inside this guy. And thanks to the fact that hard drives are air and water tight, it basically goes in there and doesn't drip out anywhere else. Once I'm done, just wipe it up with a tissue or cloth or towel, and I'm basically all done here. It's a super simple way to actually go ahead and reuse the housing of this guy if you've already used all the internals for other things, and I really think it's a cool way and unique way of actually putting your drink on something that is different to, say, the standard video card out there. Now, if you're going to be using your hard drive as a drink coaster, what you can do with the internals is actually quite a lot. Now, the platters themselves are extremely reflective, so if you want to go ahead and use them as a mirror or any of the other DIY projects like a really cool looking set of reflectors there's just so much you can do with the internals of these drives and also too if you just go on Google and search around for DIY hard drive projects there's definitely a lot of things you can do and the larger three and a half inch drives other than these two and a half inch options are definitely really flexible and there's a lot of projects you can do inside these drives whether they're secret safes or ways to sort of store stuff in there there's just so much you can do and I really love the flexibility here yeah. then finally Finally, the last thing I like to do with hard drives when I'm pulling them apart other than use the magnets and then use the actual body as a coaster is use the actual drives as reflectors, mirrors or anything like that. Especially when it comes to making videos, using the actual hard drives as uh, reflectors for cool patterns is really, really awesome. So if you're into some sort of budget uh, filmmaking, this can be really, really flexible. However, I do just want to point out, make sure your data is safely removed as instead of actually smashing up the platters, we'll actually be going ahead and reusing them. So if it falls into the wrong hands, they may start to try and recover it. But making sure your data is wiped, these things are really super reflective and really, really handy. In fact, I've actually used them for a lot of B-roll in these projects. When I'm outside and I don't exactly have a ton of lights that I can actually bring with me, a lot of the time I'll bring a handful of desktop hard drive uh, little platters and just bounce light around for some really cool lighting scenes. And probably chances are you wouldn't even have noticed that I was using a desktop hard drive instead of an actual dedicated light when it comes to some of my outdoor b-roll so these things are really really flexible all in all hard drives are still very valuable even if they're dead from super reflective surfaces to really strong magnets or really cool DIY projects where you could even paint them up there's really so much you can do with these guys and they're just so flexible in doing so however do keep in mind that a boot and nuke for these drives are basically mandatory to make sure your data is safe and being careful with them is just the best way to deal with them again they were your hard drives at some point so they're still gonna have some sort of residual data on them and the last thing you want is someone to go pulling off your tax records or money and that kind of stuff and it is a bit of a problem there. If you do want to find out more about boot and nukes, find them down in that description box and I'll also too be doing some videos in the not too distant future about them so do stay tuned for that. Otherwise guys, thanks all for watching and do let me know what you do with old hard drives down in that comment section. Do you make cool projects like this? Do you pull them apart and take the parts out for other projects? Again, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Wow.